Thank you for using our Keras 5.0 with Scan Graphics application. Whether you're using Scan Graphics or Keras 5.0, this video will apply to you. I'm going to be covering individual graphing of behaviors and I'll be covering using the forms for creating data on behaviors. However, I will not be covering barcode scanning for behaviors since that is covered in uh, another video that's specifically for scanning data with your barcode scanners. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. I'm just going to quickly go over the form. Like, like anything else in the system, you can go to individual options, defaults to behaviors, I'm gonna go ahead and you can see over here on the left there's all kinds of options that we can use. This works the same way with everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get last year's data. Last year. Go ahead and search, see if we got any data for that. I ran my query here, I got all this data. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on a form here. We'll, we'll double click on food stealing here. Here we have in the form the name automatic popul populates in there because I double clicked on an existing document. Challenging behavior, food stealing, antecedent. Now, I, here you can see that you can put your own antecedents and consequences into the system in the variable system. You can see that more in the administration videos, but basically I can type in my an antecedent or bullet pull it from the uh, uh, admin area of system variables to the next and go back so any data set that you got pulled in here you can sit here and go through all the behaviors without having to go in and out out, out of the form we try it and that works the same thing the same way with everything we, we keep very consistent with how the system works I'll go ahead and close out of here if I want to add a new record in here I just click on add new record I'm going to say I want, uh, uh, these are all test students here, Adam Russell, uh, I'm going to go with, I want it on the 20th, duration of 10 minutes, I'm going to put my antecedent in here, and I'm just going to, for examples, Put a location in there, so that's room 608, consequence. Again, you can put your own variables in the system that can pull into there. I don't want to say a frequency of three. Go ahead and save that. Once I close out, it'll reload the grid. And here's the behavior I just created a few minutes ago. Again, I can double click on it, edit it. So I'm going to really go over that. That's what we're hoping that most people out there, I mean, so far, pretty much the majority of our users use the scanning uh, abilities of the system in order to enter their data. But you do have the ability with every um, every portion of our system to put the data in there manually. I'm just going to quickly go to individual reports here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at someone I know has some data in them. I'm going to go to Alberta Susan. I'm going to go take a look last year. Look at that. Now I got a nice graph here. Went ahead and calculated for me. Tells me kind of when my data set starts. So I'm going to go ahead and change my data set to better get a nicer graph here. Now I changed my data set to the uh, to the start of where all the data was occurring and now I've got a f full data set here of information. I've got my medications pulling in here. You can see that I can choose what criteria I want. I just, I just want to see aggression. I want to see self-interest behavior and I, I'm going to go ahead and 
pull on Risperdal started at the phase line, and medication lines automatically pull in. Unlike Excel, where you have to manage the lines, the system will manage the lines for you, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and rerun the graph. Now, now instead of showing a bunch of different data types, it just shows the ones that I've selected. Other quick notes, I can add phase lines, or, excuse me, trend lines. I'm going to go ahead and add a trend line on the curve of the lines, make it a little prettier, rerun it. Here I got nice curve lines, nice trend coming through it. We have a, a, we have very powerful graphing options, and I'm going to go ahead and go a little bit over it right now. But there's a there'll be another video that you'll want to see that will take a look at graphing power. You click on export report, and it gives you all kinds of options. You can export as crystal, as PDF, Excel, data, Word which text format you can print you can print the graph itself by just coming in here and just printing on print graph um, you can change the uh, let's say we want to say that the increment is uh, 2 that see how it changed the y-axis the graphs are very, very tailorable. You can add your own notes in here to the graph. Your own notes. And you can add monthly notes to the report. Here is my monthly notes. Oh, I already had one for that time period. So here we go. So now I have several notes in here already for for this person. If there's a note active in here, it will go ahead and load that note into the uh, into the report itself. Also, you can see right here if there's a spelling problem, it's going to automatically tell you hey, or a spelling or a grammar problem, it's going to tell you hey, there's something something odd here. I'm going to rerun this report. There's my note. There's my note that's in the graph. If I want to see all the records, and maybe I don't want to see the abbreviated names, I want the full names. I just uncheck that. And here I go. Now I've got full names, and I've got all the all the actual data that occurred. So I can check the data against the actual behavior to make sure that my stuff's correct also you can see that my logo automatically pops in here so it's totally tailorable so your lo your own logo for your company can can come in there there's a uh, administration video that you're going to want to take a look at to learn how to do that it's very simple uh, of course you'd have to have administration uh, access in it in order to uh, accomplish that Another cool thing that the system can do, uh, we added in here about two months ago, you now can send emails directly from the system. Meaning, let's say your boss says, say, I need a report right now. And you go, okay, right over the phone, type his email address. If, if their email address has been already entered, it will populate in here. Type your information. Then hit email report, it'll automatically email your boss. I'm going to go over those settings later. You can In here you can also do other kind of cool graphs, like say, hey, I, I want to take a look at monthly, and I'm going to go ahead and make it a column chart. That's fine. And boom, I got myself a nice column chart. Other cool functions is... Yeah, you can bring your mouse across the graphs. But, and again, I'll be going into more of the graphing power in other videos. You can save these graphs, print them, so they just print the graphs alone. You can add, let's make this a pie chart. Let's add a legend to the right. Boom, here I got a legend for all the months. Let's make that a 3D. Bam, I've got a 3D graph. This video concludes the behavior portion of our system.